Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our thrilling tale. Today, we're diving into the heart of the Festival of Echoes, where the sun sets over a coastal town, painting the sky in golden hues. The square is alive with vibrant colors and joyful faces, but beneath the surface, secrets are waiting to be uncovered. So, buckle up as we explore the mysteries and emotions that lie ahead in this captivating chapter. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the coastal town, the Festival of Echoes reached its zenith. Iko stood at the heart of the bustling square, her bright blue eyes scanning the crowd of townsfolk. Each face was a canvas painted with the colors of joy and sorrow. The air was thick with the scent of roasted chestnuts and the sound of laughter. Yet beneath the surface, an undercurrent of tension rippled through the gathering. Iko felt it, a weight pressing down on her chest, as if the very memories of the town were whispering their secrets to her. Beside Iko, Run crossed his arms, his spiky hair catching the fading light. Why are we even doing this? They won't listen to us, he muttered, skepticism lacing his voice. Iko turned to Ren, her heart aching for his doubt. They need to hear their stories, Ren. It's the only way to break the cycle. Mika, with her colorful clips and mismatched clothing, bounced on her toes, her eyes sparkling with a mixture of excitement and fear. What if they don't want to? What if they're too scared? Aiko knelt beside Mika, brushing a stray curl behind her ear. Then we'll show them it's okay to be scared. We'll show them they're not alone. The Keeper, a shadowy figure cloaked in tattered robes, emerged from the crowd, their sorrowful expression illuminated by the flickering lanterns. Aiko felt a shiver run down her spine as the Keeper's gaze met hers, a silent understanding passing between them. The Keeper's tragic backstory unfolded in Aiko's mind, a tale of loss and regret that mirrored the town's own struggles. As the festival reached its climax, Aiko stepped forward, her voice steady yet soft. Everyone, please, we need to share our stories. The crowd fell silent, eyes wide with uncertainty. Aiko's heart raced, but she pressed on, her words weaving a tapestry of connection. We can't move forward until we confront our pasts. Let's break the silence together. One by one, the townsfolk began to speak, their voices trembling yet resolute. Stories of love lost, dreams shattered, and regrets buried deep emerged like fragile snowflakes from the globes. Aiko listened, her heart swelling with empathy as she witnessed the catharsis unfolding before her. Ren, too, felt the shift his skepticism melting away as he shared his own fears, his voice growing stronger with each word. As the final story was told, the atmosphere transformed. The festival, once a facade of joy, became a genuine celebration of healing. Laughter mingled with tears, and the townsfolk embraced one another, their burdens lightened.